Hello, Paula Danielli from Crochet Hooks You here and today I'll be showing you how to make the ripple stitch. For the ripple stitch you'll need a multiple of three stitches plus one and then add two chain stitches for the foundation chain. Now I've just chained on 15 chain stitches to get started and for demonstration purposes. So for row one we'll be doing two double crochet stitches into the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three, we'll be doing two double crochet stitches into that third chain. There's our first double crochet stitch and into the same chain stitch We'll do our second double crochet stitch. Now we're going to skip two chain stitches. So that's where we've done our two double crochet stitches. So we need to skip this one, skip that one, and we'll be working into this next one here. And we'll We'll be doing one single crochet stitch into that chain. And into that same chain, we'll do two double crochet stitches. There's our first double crochet and into the same chain do our second double crochet. And we're just going to repeat that sequence basically. We'll just skip two chain stitches and then we'll do a single crochet and two double crochet stitches into this stitch here, this chain stitch. So we've skipped two chains and in the next chain we do a single crochet stitch. So there's our single crochet and now we'll go and do our two double crochet stitches into the same chain stitch. That's our first double crochet and there's our second one. Now we'll skip two chain stitches and into this next chain stitch do a single crochet and two double crochet stitches into the same chain. There's our first double crochet and we'll do a second one into that same chain. Now when you have three left, three chain stitches left at the end here, you're going to skip these two and in the last chain stitch you're just going to do one single crochet stitch to end the row. That's what it'll be looking like at the end of row one. So now you need to turn your work. And for row two, we'll start off with a chain two. So one, two. And we're going to do two double crochet stitches 
into that first single crochet stitch right there. You can tell that it's a single crochet stitch because if you pull it out it actually displays like a, a little hole there sort of telling you you know crochet here so we're going to do two double crochet stitches into that first single crochet stitch so there's our first double crochet There's our second double crochet. And now we're going to skip these two double crochet stitches here and we'll be working into this single crochet stitch here. And once again, if you jiggle it around like that, you can actually see right there there's a, a hole that opens and you know that's where you need to crochet into. So we're skipping these two double crochet stitches and working into this single crochet stitch and we're going to do a single crochet. So one single crochet and into that same stitch again we'll do two double crochet stitches. So there's our first double crochet into the same stitch again a second double crochet stitch so it's fairly repetitive you're just going to skip these two double crochet stitches, find the single crochet stitch there and make a single crochet into that stitch and then into the same stitch we're going to do two double crochet stitches as well. So here goes our first double crochet and then in the same stitch here goes our second double crochet stitch. So once again skip these two double crochet stitches, find the single crochet stitch there and we're going to do a single crochet stitch in there and then into the same stitch do our two double crochet stitches. There's one and our second double crochet. Now up towards the end here we've got two double crochet stitches there and here's our chain two. Now you can either end off by doing one single crochet into that second chain stitch there or you can cheat like I do and just dive in under that chain two. And just do one single crochet to finish the row. And then turn your work. And that's what it's looking like. So uh, that's what the ripple stitch looks like. And to continue your work you'd repeat row two for as many times as you need to. And as your work grows this is what the ripple stitch will look like as a fabric.